Well, hey guys, Louie here, and Happy New Year. It is 2018, believe it or not. Wow, what a trip. I hope you all had a wonderful New Year's Eve, and uh, so I was having uh, so much fun looking for new ways to store silver and copper that I stumbled on an article which I thought was uh, really cool and uh, interesting and a little funny. Uh, this comes from Seeking Alpha, Roger Knight's blog, How to Hide Gold, Precious Metals, etc. So this is all about what to do to stash your precious metals in a safe place. All right. Uh, we can uh, we can skip the the preamble um, indoors. Okay, here's a new one inside a fire extinguisher with tightly packed cushioning to prevent noise if shaken. Few thieves or government agents would think to look inside one or know how to do so safely. I recently learned that home fire extinguishers can be decommissioned for safe disposal by wearing eye protection and slowly unscrewing the plastic top until the nitrogen inside starts to hiss out. Just let it hiss until it's gone and undo all the way and shake out the powder. However, the narrow necks on these devices means they will accept only fractional gold coins, small fractions. But that's another reason why thieves won't look there. Cool. Okay, uh, Turkey George Palmer says, Many interior doors are hollow. You can cut a slot in the top of them an inch wide and four inches long. You can put items in bags or some or something attached to the bags with fish hooks on fish line dropping them down in the door from the top. Tie the line at the top. That's interesting. You would think you would see the, uh, the cuts though on the door. Banjo says, gold is tiny. If you have a brick wall or tiled floors, lift or gouge out some room, glue the gold in and cover over with tile or cement. And be sure to tell somebody where you put it, because <laughs> they'll never find it. Spiral Eyes says, The best place to hide gold is where there's some other metal decoy to avoid detectors. Okay, I thought this was a really, really good comment, because um, people who are searching for metals uh, in your house will sometimes have metal detectors. So uh, if you were to put it in the door, for example, they might find it there, uh, or even in the wall. Um, so, washing machines are good because nobody will steal them. So are radiators. And hedge by spreading it around. Determined thieves who know you have gold will get to it. Your goal is to prevent, prevent them from getting to all of it. So unless you're in a compound and armed to your teeth, another important factor is making sure nobody around knows you own quantities of metal. Legal Eagle says, Inside Crown Molding. Grimbert says, I heard of someone who bought a pair of secondhand curtains at a charity shop. When they unpicked the hem to take them up, out fell a row of gold sovereigns. They had been used as weights. Wow. Um, other good ideas are inside plug sockets or light switches. I actually used to do that when I was a young man um, in my bedroom to hide stuff from thieves. UK ones have lots of empty spaces inside, or hollow out the top of a door or inside the back of the washing machine. Again, the washing machine. Um, on this plug socket idea, though, be really careful you don't electrocute yourself and uh, keep everything uh, insulated uh, in plastic or such if you're going to do that. But I, I think that's a pretty good place, uh, light sockets. Buying Sterloins, Buying Sterling says, Other places, fractional gold is always best for hiding. Inside doorknobs, inside metal tubes or chair legs, inside electrical outlet boxes, inside the plunger bulb in an unused toilet. <laughs> okay, works best with a baggie of cash in the tank with it. Key elements are proximity to other metals, not inside of anything that might be stolen or other reason, variety, and for long-term holdings inaccessible. Either have more than one safe, one of which is well hidden, or if you only have one, PMs don't go there. I've often thought that safe some are um, kind of a tough place to have your PMs because uh, assuming there might be a home invasion, uh, the first thing they're going to do is put a gun to your head and have you open their safe, and, and which you are going to have to do. So I think if you have a safe, I would highly recommend having two. 
All right. Um, species 8472 says, under the fluffy insulation in the attic. Web Wheeze, you can make your own book safes pretty easily. Um, and here is a link to some of those videos. Uh, ben, I imagine it involves cutting out the inside of a book. But again, the metal detector, you know, keep that in mind. You're going to need to have it near metal. Bendromeda Strain says, Kotulas.com, K-O-T-U-L-A-S.com, has both fake books and a pretty nice-looking mantle clock with fold-down face that will hold a 357 revolver. Yeah, guys, okay, if you're going to do that, you rest assured your kids are going to know you're doing it, so be really careful with that. You don't want a kid to blow somebody away or blow themselves away. Um, you can put some serious gold in there, I would imagine. Fred C. Dobbs, a gold bug, told me something similar. He said, attach your gold to the wall under the sink in the kitchen or bathroom and cut a piece of drywall out to put it over, to put over it. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty safe. Vato Paco says, if you're robbed by some random jerk-off looking for a cheap score, do not hide your medals in the master bedroom. That's where they look first. There are some crews, including a famous one in Phoenix, who broke cut windows, thus no sensor triggered into high-end mansion bedrooms, and burgled only the master bedroom. Always lots of jewelry, TVs, and guns in the master bedroom. Never even went into the rest of the house. Why? Because nobody has a motion sensor in the master bedroom. That's why. If they do go into your house, they will look in the freezer, toilets, and dump the bookshelves, so forget about those. Huge organ in your children's rooms along with their SH star T. Bad guys don't look there. Yeah, the, I think the best defense against uh, having your stuff stolen is a really, really messy house. <laughs> I agree with that. Uh, Smitty Wesson. I met an old man whose dad was a bootlegger, and they were once raided by the USG immediately after selling some moonshine. They never found his stash, which was in the hot water heater. Hmm, God, that'd be hard to do. Hey, great idea. Gold does not rust, but it but put it in a functioning water heater? Huh. For example, have 500 to 1,000 worth of stuff, cash, cheap jewelry, etc. They can get into and out of real quick. Don't even let them want to hang around trying to find more. Visonic makes the SIM card alarm auto dialer from the home security online store in Riverside. They also make some burglar bombs. Okay. Outdoors. Smitty Wesson. Add an extra post to your deck. Make sure it matches the others. Plant your gold under the support with a thin veneer of concrete. Nobody is going to dig up a footer to explore, to explore a metal hit on their detector, especially if you gave them plenty to do by driving railroad spikes all over the yard. Okay, this guy is serious, but uh, some really good ideas there. The only thing about permanently burying your gold is, yeah, you don't ever get to see it or touch it or count it, man, that would be hard to do. Gold Bricker says, go into the auto junkyard business. Not only do these proper prosper in hard times, but there's loads of heavy needing a forklift metals to surround it, under which you can put any metal object you please without fear of detection. Yeah, a whole bunch of old junk cars in your, uh, in your lot would probably <laughs> be a good place to store it. Mr. Manderbrot says, my grandfather had a friend that bought a farm with several beehives. The bees were long gone. When he went to put them in the burn pile, he found $300,000 of cash in one. This is 1960s-ish. Dead Fred said, around, behind, or inside something metal will help. A good detector can distinguish gold from steel, but the operator needs some skills. At least you'll know your treasure went to a high-class thief. 
<laughs> Smitty Wesson says again, he told me charcoal layers over a buried stash hide it from metal detectors. He also told me that the best place to hide things is where it takes a lot of energy to move things, like casks of nails, machinery parts, and greasy stuff, because police don't want to get hot or dirty, and neither do thieves. His reasoning was they were willing to work, but they if they were willing to work, they wouldn't be cops or thieves. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Pseudo anonym depends on how much gold you've got. Buy a used car, stuff it into the engine, cylinders, oil pans, etc., and then don't drive it. <laughs> uh, we actually wrapped them tightly in tin foil and painted them to look like a standard brick, then built a planter out of the back door three inches high, eleven inches round, in a U shape, put dirt inside the planter and a small plant. It's in a place on the patio where it doesn't get stepped on or kicked. We water the plants and see it every day, as do guests who have never even looked twice. That reminds me of uh, the guy that had like a, a gold brick bar and he used it as a doorstop and everybody <laughs> walked by it every single day. Uh, buying in Sterling says, if you live in the country and you want ultimate security for the long term, part of your gold stock, open the valve to your septic tank <laughs> and drop it in. Just as long as it's not one of those fiberglass tanks shaped like a submarine, those are known to pop out of the ground and float away in flubs, floods. That's very true, especially when they're very empty. They, uh, they are buoyant and will come right out of the ground. Okay, well, I think you get the message if you want to uh, read more of these. God, there are a ton of them. Um, it is on Roger Knight's blog and How to Hide Gold, Precious Metals, etc. at SeekingAlpha.com. Okay, guys, I hope you got some good ideas there to hide all your gold. Not too much about silver, but I don't think uh, you know some of these ideas would work for silver, especially if you're getting around to uh, burying it under, uh, <laughs> under the deck and stuff. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. I found it amusing and a fun read for the first day of 2018. This is Louie signing out. You guys have a great day and a great year.